Hey guys, Antrim here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys something pretty cool that I found on Reddit, actually. If you guys want to check out the original thread for this, then be sure to check out the link in the description below. But anyways, what I'm going to be showing you guys here is a way to generate a world that has, like, infinite dungeons in it. So this specifically uses the customized world feature that you can access in, like, any latest version of Minecraft. And it allows you to generate worlds the way that you want to including being able to generate them with crazy amounts of dungeons in them like if I go ahead and I fly underneath the ground here you can see they're everywhere they're strung together they completely envelop the cave systems around them like you can see that there's like four to a single you know sort of area here there's five here or something like that oh six seven I'm not even really sure there's just so many of them and uh, yeah it's really quite interesting uh, how this works and you know you can check to see what the loot's all about see if I can finally find that mystical golden apple you know that hey I, I got the world now you know like this this is how I find the golden apple even though I'm still not finding one yet come on man give me give me give me a golden apple like I spent so long looking for one you think I'd be able to find one whenever I generate a world that has like yeah there we go golden apple there we go that that is it but uh as you guys might imagine these uh these dungeons would be very hard to conquer because there would be so many mobs spawning so definitely be sure you're prepared for them. But anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to spawn these for yourselves, and then I'm going to show you guys an extreme example of this. So anyways, let me go ahead and let me hit create new world here. Let's just go and let's go to creative and then set this little option on world type to customize. And then it's actually like in order to get the dungeons the way you want them, you actually can't set this value high enough. The value only goes to 100 here, but if you hit this preset button and you paste in the thing that, the, you know, the the big preset that's on the reddit thread and uh, you know just paste it in here then there is an option that you can modify I think I need to go towards the beginning here not too sure let's go and let's click around here because I need to find this let's see so what I'm looking for on this list is an option that allows me to mess around with the dungeons and so there'll be a thing that says like dungeons on there it is so use dungeons true so that means dungeons are there and then dungeon chance 50,000 so where that other thing said a chance of 100 this is 50,000 that's what he has linked on the thread anyways but uh, if you want to go ahead and you set this to whatever value you want you can go ahead and you can do that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys an extreme example of a dungeon that has summoned with a you know 50,000 thousand chance this last world that I just showed you guys was a chance of five thousand so this is ten times the amount of dungeons and I do warn you I wouldn't recommend making a world that like is meant for long-term use with this because it causes some really weird and unintended side effects like this village didn't quite generate properly uh, things just aren't quite happening correctly uh, if I go ahead and I quickly game mode well, I am on game mode 3 actually if I go ahead and I fly under here you can see there are just so many many dungeons and uh, like the sand over here for example there's probably like probably some of the sand is meant to actually fall because of there's so many dungeons that are here but it hasn't happened yet because the game is lagging so badly so maybe it's just for the fact that I spawned in a desert biome and the game can't keep up in that regard but uh, if I go ahead and I stand still long enough the world will generate but it actually won't be very responsive so if I go ahead and I type in game mode one here you can actually notice that uh, if I go ahead and I hit F3. Okay, there we go. It takes quite a while for my game mode to change. Or, okay, now it doesn't because I'm, of course, showing it. But if I generate a lot more of the world, it will get more and more taxed out. And, uh, yeah, you can see, like, there's all kinds of dungeons that are poking through the sand here. Uh, specifically, where the majority of them wound up showing up was over here. I mean, look at this here. This is... This is insane. Let's go ahead and let's game mode ourselves to one. Actually, I don't think that mobs can spawn outside here. So if you wanted to get all the dungeon loot without any of the danger, then just show up here because there's all kinds of sunlight here. Let's go ahead and let's do, if we can do time set uh, 16,000 and see, okay, yeah, see, this is where the game starts to become a little unresponsive because I've set, I've set it to nighttime and the sun's not moving, even though it says the time was set to 16,000. Uh, it's not moving, so yeah. 
And uh, there's quite a few entities loaded up in the world as well, so that's another problem. Um, I think I, I think this sand might fall. I don't know. But as you can see, it's really, really quite laggy. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to generate another world. You know, let's just generate one that has a chance of 10,000 uh, if this world winds up quitting out in time. I'm just kind of waiting for the world to quit out here. It's like... This world does not want to quit. I think especially because I'm capturing this video. It's just like, nah, bro, I'm not quitting. Okay, we're out. So let's go ahead and let's do creative. Let's do the customized option. Let's go and let's set the presets. And then paste our little thingy in here. And then let's see. So uh, dungeon, dungeon, dungeon. I'm looking for dungeon. Where is the dungeon? Okay, uh, strongholds, villages. Where is my... Oh, there's dungeon chance. Right there. It was kind of hiding on me. So let's go ahead and let's set this to a value of 10,000 and see what we wind up dealing with. Again, I think the fact that we were, uh, that we were like, you know, uh, in a desert biome doesn't really help the whole situation because, you know, it, like the game was trying to load all of that sand falling. But I think maybe if you spawn in a different biome and walked into a desert biome, the game might be more responsive with it. So we'll see. But anyways, now we're just waiting for the load itself, the, uh, the load itself to world up here. Yeah. Guys, I can English language really hard, okay? Like, really hard. I'm trying my bestest. So, yeah, we're really, like, waiting for this to load up, okay? As you can tell. Okay, here we are. So, okay, so we're in... Okay, so this might actually still be really laggy because, once again, we're in a desert biome. But, uh, yeah, so let's go and let's fly around here. Oh, God, desert biomes, really? Why did it have to be a desert biome? Maybe it's the same biome every time with the settings that I have. Uh, you know, because of the seed and whatnot. Maybe. I have no idea. Uh, but anyways, so yeah, there's all kinds of terrain here. Sooner or later, some of the sand is going to fall. Because, I mean, there's no way, like, it's only five times less likely there'll be a dungeon to spawn. Which means there'll be a fifth of the dungeons that there were before, but it still means there'll be plenty. So, sooner or later, some of the sand is going to wind up falling. And I'm just kind of waiting for that to happen. And, uh, yeah. Alright, let's go and let's game order ourselves over to three if it'll even do it. And let's go and let's check to see how many dungeons are, are underneath here. Ooh, actually, there weren't any immediately by the surface. But there are some right here. There's quite... Oh, God, you, I can actually kind of see them generating before my very eyes here. Whoa, that's actually really trippy. So there are actually quite a few dungeons. And they are generating right before my very eyes. This is actually kind of hilarious. Look at this. This is crazy. But yeah, so if you guys want, again, want to mess around with this for yourselves, be sure to check out the link in the description below to the Reddit thread. And in the comment section is the uh, preset that you need to copy and paste to try this out for yourselves, guys. But anyways, I hope you all have enjoyed. This is, this is insanity. Let's see if my game mode will even switch. It will. Okay, let's see. Boom! Have fun with that, guys. I hope you all have enjoyed. My name is Ant-Man, and I bid you all farewell, guys. Thanks so much for watching.